Oh, dams are awesome. Um, <laughs> so dams are fascinating because it's this element of our infrastructure that we generally don't think about. And when we think about like improving our infrastructure, we think of bridges, we think of roads, we think of the stuff that people see. And dams for the most part are out in the middle of nowhere and, and um, we, we just kind of think about them as sort of on the periphery. And what's really neat about them is that they bring in all of these different elements of uh, civil engineering and infrastructure, and they serve so many different purposes. We can flood control, uh, water supply, recreation, hydropower, and we're constantly investing and improving and adapting them to, uh, to, to our operations. But the, but the dams that no longer really serve a purpose, for us to invest in them really doesn't make any sense. We want to be able to remove them and just not allow them to sit and rumble. So removing them is uh, a key feature of our dam safety program. We're in Upper Montgomery County in Upper Hanover Township. We're right along the Perkyoman Creek. And the Perkyoman Creek, um, you know, just downstream from here flows into Green Lane Reservoir, which is owned by Aqua. And it is a large source of water for our um, largest drinking water plants in Southeast Pennsylvania. What we're doing here at the Perkyoman Creek is removing outdated and unnecessary dams that are obstructing the creeks. And what that's gonna do is improve water quality and habitat quality on aqua property, which is great for, for us as a drinking water supplier. And it's also great for recreation because it's also a very popular fishing destination. By removing the dam and restoring the stream channel, we can add to the beautiful habitat that we have downstream and hopefully make the upstream area look just like it. So we can extend the trout habitat and then extend the, uh, the recreational resource as well. Downstream from this dam right here is what we call the fly fishing area. And so there's really nice trout habitat and we've been working with the local Trout Unlimited chapter to stock the area. Um, so it's become a really nice fishing place and there's, there's just wonderful gravel habitat for the fish downstream. If we look upstream, there isn't much habitat because silt has, has basically accumulated behind the dam over the last um, you know, many decades. This area will become more of a resource to the community and really make it more beautiful. Not only are we doing a project that's beneficial to the stream, but we made sure that the manner in which we did it was the best possible way to getting this stream back to nature. As you can see, everything is frozen and very snowy. This is actually a great time for us to be doing this project. Uh, everything is fairly dormant. We're bringing our construction crew in to do this work. We're not going to be disturbing uh, too much of the, of the surrounding landscape, limiting our impacts to hibernating animals or, or active animals, I should say. And it just really represents a good time for us to do this. Normally when you remove a dam from a stream, there is a reclamation period where the stream's going to adjust. You might see more of the stream banks exposed on, on the upstream side of the dam. There's gonna be changes, right? The stream has had a dam in place for almost 100 years. So now it's, it's going to move a little differently. And so in order to speed up the process of restoring the stream, we're not just gonna remove the dam and leave, we're gonna come back with uh, the local Trout and Limited chapter and we're gonna start restoring the stream banks as well and kind of speed that process along, put in habitat structures for the trout and really just make it look like a finished project a lot sooner. We're here to see how the streams are covering and we also have volunteers who are planting native trees into the stream bank and they're going to help improve the aquatic ecosystem and bring back biodiversity to the stream. We rely on diverse aquatic ecosystems to protect water quality for us. Well, when you have green next to streams and rivers, it's all good stuff. And what we're putting in here uh, is some green. It's basically live stakes of sycamore. Uh, silky willow, uh, black willow, silky dogwood, and these are species 
that do real well along stream banks and in wet areas. And basically what they do is they will help to stabilize the ground. And also all the things that are good for us for preventing flooding, stormwater erosion, stormwater runoff, uh, purifying water. It's also good for the organisms that live in the stream. So it's very, very good for uh, uh, water quality for uh, fish and other things that live in streams. There's an old saying that says trout grow on trees. And that's not a fairy tale. A stream ecosystem that's going to have trout has to have trees on the sides. And those trees, because really when you think about it, the, the base of the food chain is plants. Up here on land, we have plants on land. In the stream, the only producers in the stream generally are going to be your algae. And that's, they only make about 25% of the food for the organisms in the stream. The rest of it falls in. Leaves, autumn leaf fall, tree branches, things like that. And when those things fall into, into the water, they get incorporated into the food chain and just move right up the food chain too. Of course, trout and the bigger fish. Conservation is important for so many different reasons. The list goes on and on. Uh, everything from making sure that we're protecting uh, our water resources uh, because we rely on our water for so many things. So protection of our water resources is increasingly important. It's really wonderful that Aqua has been so proactive in identifying these conservation opportunities here in the Perkiomen watershed. Uh, certainly activities uh, such as dam removal and dream restoration and improvement and establishing forested buffer zones along our, our waterways. All of those activities are, are incredibly important for, for protecting uh, our water resources, for protecting the water for the wildlife and organisms that rely on clean water, for the people that rely on clean water, for drinking, for recreation, for agriculture. So these, these projects are very important and it's great to be able to partner with organizations like Aqua in these efforts.